So hello everyone. So today, uh, I'm going to discuss. Uh, we have to discuss another topic that is very important before going on to Kirchhoff's law. So we already uh, know what is electric field. We already know what is electrostatic equilibrium. We already know what is electric potential and the properties of capacitors and the electrics. Now today we are going to shift from electrostatic condition to the uh, dynamics of charges so meaning that we have to to make our charges move na okay so other than making it at rest lang yung source of electric field so anyway so our first lesson uh, for direct current circuit is all about current resistance and voltage so unsa man meaning aning to look a very important variable and this important variables in direct current circuit or mostly in circuits not only in dc circuits are very important to describe fully the uh the electric circuit diba so our mga variables electric circuit so first let's talk about current so what is current so a current is <clears throat> When there is an electric field or there is like a uh, <clears throat> set up electric field in a wire, uh, electric current is said to exist. So the definition talaga na electric current is we all know sa atong high school is the flow of charges. So mo ginagitang, flow of charges, flow of charges, ana gina siya. So there is a net flow of charge because of electric field. So meaning that in a wire, usually sa atong wire kay mga metal man gina, di ba? Because <clears throat> metals are a very good electrical conductor. Okay, so because <clears throat> so if we put like a external electric field or electric field, if we mag set up ta using I connect to siya sa battery, of course, mo flow ang charges. There is a net flow, and there is now the electric current. Okay, so to to provide a description of electric current, the definition of electric current is current is actually the rate at which charge flows through this as through a certain uh, area. Okay, so suppose atong wire kay cylindrical siya all throughout, meaning that ang pasabot na uniform, therefore uniform po di uh, cross sectional area. So ang pasabot di nga area is the cross sectional area of the wire. Okay, so this is the how many charges or how much, how many charges are flowing per unit area, per unit time. So na by uh, two columns of charge per second ang nagflow in that area, na by three, uh, three column of charges. So that is actually the, <coughs> excuse me, that is actually the definition of current. So so the average current is given by the this one, the, the the charge divided by the time elapse when the charges is moving through that area A. Okay? So, we are not actually kanang focusing on uh, average current, but we, all, we will focus our attention to the instantaneous current. So, instantaneous current is basically the current at that instant, at that time. Okay? Which is defined as... Uh, dq over dt so just like instantaneous acceleration instantaneous velocity so same lang sila ng uh, same lang sila og definition sa inana okay sa atong mechanics so instantaneous current is we just have to get the limit of the average current when the time is very very short okay so ato siyang ipa gamay atong time so that ato lang makuha ang current at that specific time okay so because of this definition the instantaneous current, I mean, the instantaneous current or simply current is actually <clears throat> has an SI unit of ampere where ampere is just equal to one column per second. So meaning that one ampere is actually equal to uh, one column of charges flowing per second. Okay, per one second. Diba? So, by the way, if I am talking about current, we will talk about instantaneous current. Okay, or simply current lang na siya kay uh, Muraglisod na kaya na always na to gina 
gina uh, gina ka ng storya ang instantaneous. Okay? So, kumuha na kong current, that, that means nga in, instantaneous current na siya. Okay? So, that is the full definition of the current. Now, let's move on to conventional current. So, conventional current is actually the uh, current in the same direction as the flow of positive charges. Okay, so, muna siya ang ato ang, uh, ato ang convention. Okay, so, it is not actually the, dili actually ang charges ang mo flow in a certain like conducting wire but the electrons, di ba? The negative charges. But that is by convention lang. Okay, so, uh, uh, respect, uh, dili lang siya kuan, irrespective of the charge carriers or katong na flow nga charge, kung na flow na charge ba is negative, kung na flow na charge ba is uh, something like both or positive. So, the always remember that the direction of the current is the same direction as the flow of positive charges. As if the positive charges are the one that is flowing along the wire. Okay? So, for example, so usually sa mga example na to is uh, ang mga ang ang mobility sa electron magid ang pinaka high di ba in actually in our conductor so we have this one so suppose nag set up kog electric field in a wire so by connecting this a uh, wire dito sa imuhang battery or any source of uh, potential di ba so mag exist na mag exist din ang electric field inside the wire meaning that due to polarization or because of this electric field so mag separate ang mga negative and positive charges, di ba? So, ang mga positive charges will be on the same direction as your electric field. Okay, so, i-move na sa electric field dad to because we know that F is equal to QE, di ba? So, force is in the same direction as your electric field if you have a positive charge. But, in the case for a negative charge, it will just the opposite of the electric field, as you can see here. But, take note of the current, as you can see, Current is always in the same direction as the flow of positive charges by convention. Okay? So, that is the conventional current. As you can see, even though it is a positive charge, uh, even though it is a negative charge that is flowing, the current is like the, the flow of positive charges as if the positive charges are the one that is uh, that are flowing inside the wire. Diba? So, as you can see here. Okay? So, if the ends of conducting wire are connected to form a loop, okay, so ito siyang i-form a loop, what will happen to the charges? So, basically, wala man siya electric field nga mukuan nga, uh, nga para mo flow at wang charges nga na ay net flow, then therefore, there is, wala tayo mak makuha, di ba? So, still, the, the potential in a wire at some point or at every point is uh, maintain. Okay, kaya wala man tayo potential pod nga kuhan nga para mo flow ang charges. How about this one? If the ends of conducting wire are connected to a battery, what will happen after? So, of course, the positive and negative charges will now act by separate, uh, by flowing. ba? So, meaning that if mag-set up na kag electric field uh, inside the wire, what will happen is the positive charges will now flow together with the electric field and the elect uh, the negative charges will also flow uh, opposite to the electric field. Okay? Wana siya. So, sometimes, ang mga moving charges for our conducting wire are called a mobile char charge carrier. So, kay sila man ang always na mag-move, di ba, in a certain wire. So, as you can see here, na naakay mobile charge carriers for mobile charge carrier sa ato ang conducting wire is our electron. Okay, kaya naman po uh, other nga ka ng mga uh, flow of charges like pwede po mo flow ang both negative and positive if you are talking about plasma di ba plasma are composed of uh, positive and negative charges so napot na tawag nga flow of literally nga positive charges sa semiconductor so but we will not talk about that uh, because it's a very kwana, kanang layo na nga topic so we will just focus on conducting wire where the electrons are the one that is the moving charge or the mobile charge 
okay, katong mga electrons na valence, meaning the out the outermost uh, electron, di ba? Katong mga valence electrons are the one that pwede siya mag-move across a metal. Okay? Kay ang metal atoms mang good nimo. So the mechanism mang good sa atong metal atoms looks like this. Okay? So suppose na okay copper wire. So usually copper mo with ang kwan kay high mass electrical conductivity. Suppose lang I have a copper wire. So of course na akay uh, atoms dali. This is this is the uh, the nucleus. So we just have to write or draw the electron. Okay? So, sikit-sikit muna sila, di ba? Sikit-sikit. Isikit na to sila. So, sorry, dili ka siya perfect na circle. Isikit na to sila. Isikit. So, mura siya ginana, di ba? So, suppose sa imong wire, kinakay na ani. So, this is the mechanism on why the charges, not the flow of positive charges. Although, ang mga positive charges will not flow, only the electrons, but... On the other side of the wire kasi, it becomes like the net charge is positive and the other side of the wire is like the net charge is negative. So, so kung mag-set up ng electric field going in that direction, what will happen is these mga valence electrons will now shift towards the, in this direction. Okay, kay mag-move-move na siya, kanang, kanang kiat mangut kini si electron, bisag asa lang na siya mukuan, mo, mo, mo collide, mo interact kani mga valence electrons so they are the electron that is actually kanang dili kaayo madala og attract ni nucleus kay tungod sa iyang kalayo okay so maunang gamay ra uh, ang iyang electrostatic attraction or electrical attraction between sa nucleus uh, sa nucleus is very small lang that is why they are free to roam around the uh, the metal okay so metal are called the sea of electrons. Okay, so the hangkins like electrons diha. So some of the electrons here will now shift there here. And that is why on the other side, the monang makaingunga, the net charge here is actually positive and the net charge here is actually negative. Because the uh, the electrons will now shift on the other side. So magkon kwan maguna sha mu kanim kung for example kani electron kemo balin up the day kato electron balin up so, ina na sila ka kiat. Okay, magbaling-baling sila ng other nga uh, atoms sa atong copper. Okay? So, dili ang charges ang flow here, but this actually comes from the net charge on the other side is positive. So, that is why uh, uh, naatay, it nagyatawag na flow of charge, positive charges. But that is the mechanism. Okay? So, anyway, let's just stick with our conventional current other than the electron current, so this is actually the electron current, but they are just the same, okay? So what do you mean by the same? That even though the charges are flowing on this uh, on this side, there is an equivalent put nga negative charges na mo flow. So meaning that uh, if na okay positive charges na flow diri, for every positive charges na mo flow diri, na apoy mo flow na negative charges on the other side, okay? So basically they are just the same a current lang gihapon but that, that is only for convention okay so now let's move on to what is the microscopic interpretation of current so unsa man ginahitabo dai sa current so dili lang ang atong current is actually equal to this relationship nga dq over dt or q over t uh, we can actually get the current of uh, another na pud nga like another nga expression for current, okay? For example, like this one. So we have to consider a uh, conductor conductor na pud nga na i cross sectional area nga a, which is uniform all throughout the circuit, okay? So the volume of a certain section sa ato ang conductor wire, conducting wire, kana i siya length nga delta x, okay? At na apud siya a cross sectional area nga a delta x so mura siya og a cylinder diba so you can see here na siya cross sectional area to find the volume tapos iyahang length a delta x okay so if the n represents the number of mobile charge or the moving charge in a certain volume or per unit volume which is also called the uh, density okay 
per unit volume, then the total charge delta Q in this part of the wire is given as this one. Okay, so meaning we have to multiply the the number of moving charges to the volume. Okay, mura man siya, ka ng kuan. Uh, we have to find the number of charges, diba? Diba, ato ang N is like the charge carrier density or the moving charge density which is equal to the number of charges per unit volume. So, basically, they are the same lang nga kuan. Uh, na number of charges okay so then multiply this one with the q meaning the one that is actually uh, moving inside the cylinder okay yung magnitude of the charge kay kanim good siya is the total charge in the volume so kanin siya kanin q is just the one charge inside the volume so we have to multiply that one to the quanpo the n and the volume of a certain cylinder or the certain conductor sa atong wire. Okay? So, kung ang Q ni mo is negative charge, the negative volume, butang gri. Kung pila man to ang iyahang magnitude sa Q for a negative charge. So, basically, nana lang siya. So, if the carriers move with a speed of VD, so, I just want to tell you that VD, so, nag-exist naman ang VD diri. So, VD is actually the drift speed or the drift velocity of your charges okay the moving charge now if mag move ang ato ang q or the moving charge to say uh, vd from the inside the volume lang kanang section sa conductor then ang iyahang displacement is just equal to vd delta t okay we already knew that one because uh, vil, uh speed is just equal to distance divided by time so just uh, you know, work with algebra there. Okay, so the displacement, ang iyahang ma, 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 kuan, ma cover nga distance or displacement is equal to its velocity, which is the drift velocity multiplied by the time elapsed. So we have to, to substitute this one to our total charge here, expression. Then delta x is actually equal to vd delta t. Then therefore, we have to divide both sides by delta T to find the average current because we know this one that the average current is delta Q over delta T. So divide both sides by delta T. So we have this equation. Okay, so this is another uh, another way to find the average current if we are going to uh, talk about microscopic, meaning ang katujung, uh, yeah, the interpretation microscopically sa atong current. Okay? So, what is the drift, drift velocity man di sa ato ang moving charge? Okay? So, ang drift velocity is actually the one na mo exist if ever nga naa siya, if naatay a electric field. Okay, di ba? So, magbutang tao conductor, and ato siyang i-connect sa terminal sa battery, so it will set up electric field on the wire, thereby causing the charges to move on the... Uh, on the in response to the electric field diba the external electric field now the speed na kung saan mo move ang imuhang a uh, moving charge is actually the drift speed okay kay usually mang good katong wala pay kanang wa pa na connect ang imuhang wire sa battery ang ang motion sa imong electron uh, is actually random so mura siya ginani uh, so uh, i an ano so, wait. I will just draw something, okay? So, ano yung good niya ang story? Just, okay, so, if I have here, like, uh, something like a starting point of the electron, so, murag mag-move siya random, so, kaning random nga motion of the electron is actually, kuhaan niya siya, kanang, uh, due to the collision of other electrons or due to the coll collision of other atoms. So, that is why, uh, in ana iyahang motion mag zigzag zigzag because we cannot uh, we cannot just neglect the fact nga na asay na other atoms remember sikit sikit ng atoms tanan in uh, metallic conductor diba so basically mo atong electron so this is without the uh, without the electric field now with electric field what will happen is uh, yung motion will still be random but na asay net displacement meaning that it will uh, 
random so random random no so kung na siya electric field uh usab mo ana na siya so random so ana so this is like the net displacement okay of the electron nga nag move og random diba so basically uh, even though random na imuhang electric field ang motion but there is a net displacement man okay so meaning that the charges are now flowing in uh, in in response to the external electric field that exists in a wire okay so how about the isaku answer kaning sa uh, what if wala pa electric field pero na motion can we still consider the motion to be like the current kay nag move bang atong electron yeah even though there's no electric field wala electric field the electron is still moving inside the atom but in random motion now usually we will just kanang uh, straight to the fact lang uh, uh, i'm not i'm just not i'm dili ko mo go ato gid sa mga theory of metallic conduction because it is not uh, our kanaman part our of our general physics so i just want to tell you that the velocity the average velocity of a random uh, of a random electron moving in an atom is actually equal to zero so meaning that if there is no uh, drift speed then therefore there is no such thing as current exists okay kay wala man siya wa man siya ni move at the at the commercial mubalik lang siya sa iyang own kuan ba ana bitaw nga kuan so in average na sa pigliuk-liuk og random ni electron the average is equal to zero okay so yeah i think that's the reason why even though nag move siya why electric field at random uh the electric field i mean the that cannot be count as uh current okay so yeah so drift speed or the drift velocity of our of, of our electron is typically very low with an order of magnitude 10 to the negative 4 meters per second so uh very siya, kanang, mm, very like uh kanang, yeah so i think oh yan ako siya explain nga nung, uh, usually nga 10 raised to the negative 4 meters per second. So let's have an example. So a 12 gauge copper wire in a typical residential building. So usually sa atong mga uh, building, uh, sa atong mga uh, connections sa atong wire is mga 12 gauge, 12 to 8 gauge, 18 gauge nga wire atong makita. Okay, so, but of course that's only for electricity if you're going to move on to electricity good na, you know, very technical na good. Pero the gauge uh corresponds to the diameter of a wire okay so nana sila yung murag list of unsa diameter sa 12 gauge nga wire unsa diameter sa 13 gauge nga wire and so on okay so na i in inch na po in millimeter but anyway so let's just focus on our problem so uh cross sectional area of 3.31 so assuming this is uniform all throughout okay na magi manufacture defect na uh, dili siya uniform atong cross section area okay kay basig uh, napuaki or kung sa baka nang na nakuan siya na siya something wrong so, but anyway we have to assume na uh, uniform ato ang copper wire all throughout the uh, the circuit so if it carries a current of 10 amperes what is the drift velocity of the electrons so we have to assume that each copper atom contributes one free electron so meaning one valence electron to the current the density of copper is equal to 8.95 grams per cubic centimeter okay so you have to find the drift speed so we just have to use this equation directly okay so the average current so we have the average current is equal to n then we have here a drift velocity tapos the uh moving charge okay so we have to find first the the volume sa ato ang uh, sa ato ang copper wire okay so we are given with we are given with the density so it's better to to find the volume first kasi mao man atong i i pangitao ni n so na naman tay average nga current diba which is given by 10 ampere na napud tay cross sectional area which is given by this uh, value so ato ang pangitao lang kay si n o si vd so what is your n man? 
So what is your what is your n? So remember that sa chemistry, so I just uh, I just search that the molar mass of the copper is equal to 63.5 grams. Okay, so that's a fact lang. Per mole. Okay. So, so to find the the volume, so volume is equal to uh, mass over density. Okay. So the mass of the copper, which is equal to this one, 63.5 grams. Okay, so basically that is the molar mass per mole. Then the density is equal to 8.95 grams per cubic centimeter. So the volume is actually equal to okay, 7.09 cubic okay, per mole. Okay, so, so to find the, ano, the isonod. So we are done with volume, then we have to find the number of mobile charges per unit volume or the current charge density. The charge density. Okay, so we have the number of electrons here divided by the uh, the volume, which is equal to 7.9 cubic centimeter. So next is we know that uh, we know that the each copper atom contributes one free electron to the current. So meaning that one electron is equal to one copper atom. But we have to know that there are 6.02 uh, 10 raised to 23 uh, electrons per mole. Diba? So is this correct? <laughs> Electrons. So just uh, some chemistry. I think this is our Avogadro's number. Okay, electrons per mole. So this is per mole. So we have to find the number of electrons. So we have six point zero two times ten raised to twenty three electrons. Okay, divided by seven point zero nine cubic centimeter per mole so how much is that man so we have to cancel the mole here so ma cancel naman ang mole okay so there are how many, what is the density or or the charge carry density ilagani wait lang ha so i just have to divide 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 then divided by 7.09 okay so so that is equal to 8.49 so 8.49 times 10 raised to 22 to 22 electrons per cubic centimeter but i have to make sure na si unit ato ang cubic so i have to uh, multiply ilan man ako i-multiply ani so there are 100 centimeter per 1 meter this is cube so we have to uh, multiply again this number by 100 cube yeah, 100 cube. So that is equal to 8.49 times 10 to the 28 electrons per cubic meter. So this is our charge carrier density. So let's move on to our uh, our kanang koan. Uh, VD na. Okay, so VD na ta. Okay, so VD. Okay, so we just have to divide both sides by, this is the average current divided by NAQ. So the average current is 10 amperes. 
Okay, so this is the residential building. So the N is 8.49 times 10 raised to 28 electrons. Then the area is equal to 3.31 times 10 to the negative 6. And then the magnitude of the charge is actually equal to uh, 1.6 times 10 to the Okay, is it 1.6 times 10 to the weight magnitude of the charge? Okay, so I forgot what is the magnitude. Is this one point times 10 to the negative 19? Okay, so divide lang na to tanan. So 10 divided by. So 10 divided by 8.49 times 10 to the 28. I divide na po na to 3.31 times 10 to the negative 6. I divide na po na to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, so that is equal to 2.22 times 10 to the negative 4. So just like what we expect, that the order of magnitude for our drift velocity is very low, 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so we have here 10 to the negative 4. Now, my pondering, uh, wondering a uh, question is, we have to explain why gamay kaayo ang drift speed. Pero pag turn, pag siga na to itong suga, nanumang mo, kalit na siya og siga. Isa gamay ka yung flow sa electron. Okay, so how can we do this one? How, what is the explanation of this? Now, always remember that the sa pinakatip pa lang sa ato ang filament daan sa bulb. Diba ato ang bulb? So, diba na atay suga diri, susuga. So, maoni ang ato ang sa ato filament. Okay, ano ba ito siya? Ano? Filament diha. So, pinakatip pa lang diha daan. Nanan na yung electron diha. Kailangan lang siya konting push para uh, para musiga na ang suga. Okay, so konting push na lang sa drift speed, then that's the time nga musiga na siya. Okay? So remember nga ano mang paspas ka ayo because usually ang information nga uh, inside the electrode, uh, inside the wire is like instantly uh, approximately the speed of light. So paspas ka ayo ang mura o information na oy, nanay ko andi, nanay potential uh, potential difference there. Okay, Okay, kanang kwada is dog na kwan electron so ano siya. Okay, so the message from the source padulong sa electron at the tip of the filament kay paspas kay siya og kwan information nga na accept. Okay? So that's the time that the electron will now flow then thereby musiga na ato ang alay. So even though sa other appliances, di ba? So makita ka kung mag mag turn ka og fan, ano ang dito siya because that is actually the Reason, okay, because electrons are available everywhere, even at the tip sa imuhang wire, okay, the ends sa wire kung asa na connect ang imuhang fan, or unsa pa na siya, mga charger, and so on, okay. So that's the reason. So even though gamay kayo ang drift speed, konting push lang ang, ang kaya, okay, ang kailangan para mo exist na ang, I mean, mo siga na itong suga, or mature na itong mga appliance. Okay, so I think that's the uh, that's the ano, that's the yeah, that's the ano na, that's the uh, end of our discussion for current. But yeah, one of the kuan pod is like this one, so we have to like uh, I remember ninyo hanga ang current gani is uh, ato ang charges is. In the same direction as the flow of positive charges, manang conventional, di ba? So I want you to to rank the this one. So na ako y cross sectional sa wire. Tapos ang ni ang ni sulod diri sa wire is na ako y positive, na ako y negative, ako y positive. I want you to rank this one. Kung kinsa ang pinakadagan o ah pinakadaghan og current okay okay so positive 
So which do you think ang pinakadagan of current and tulo? Is this the current a uh, wire A, current wire B, or si current wire C? Okay. So remember that the whatever the flow of positive charges is just the same as the flow of negative charges. So for every positive charges in any flow, na po negative charges in any flow. Okay. So basically they are the same. Same lang sila. Kaya nga naman, kay each of the charges are flowing even though they are in the opposite direction. Remember that uh, kaning negative charges kay na equivalent na positive charges nga ni add to that to. So meaning that tulo ang ni sulod sa imuhang area. Diri pod of course tulo. Diri kay for every negative charge na kay positive charges. Diba? So tulo pod ang ni sulod sa area. So basically they have the same current. We assuming that the cross-sectional area are the same. Okay, so ana lang ato ang concept sa current. Okay, so on the positive note, so ana siya ang ato ang end sa current, about current. So let's move on to resistance. So resistance is, nanana siya inyo ang alab, but anyway, we have to uh, explain what is really resistance. Okay, so before going to resistance, we have to uh, muna, we have to define muna current density. Okay, so current density is uh, defined as the current per unit area. Okay, so if I have here a current, uh, we have here NAVDQ. So I just have to put here. So muna pag divide sa A, so kanina lang nabilin. So this is a definition of your uh, current density in microscopic interpretation okay, of current. So, this is only valid if your current density is uniform. Okay, naman kayo other part na itong current density is uh, as a function of time, position, or so on. So, we have to make sure that it is uniform all throughout and also the cross-sectional area is uniform put sa throughout sa atong wire. Okay? So, if yeah, and it is always perpendicular to the direction of the current. So unlike sa atong current here, so even though the current is like flowing in the direction of this one, the current is not a scale, uh, is not a vector quantity, okay? Because it cannot move through a certain something like it can move throughout the uh like can it behaves it 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 does not behave like a vector, kasi Duharaman good ihang direction. It could be to the left or to the right. So more or counterclockwise, clockwise. Diba? So more na yung direction na yung paingnan. But other than that, din siya maka move og other direction. Unlike sa vector, na ang mga vector quantity, we can move anywhere. Diba? In, in, anywhere in space. Okay? Depende sa orientation. So the current density is like a uh, vector na counterparts atong current. Okay? So current density so which is given by this one so we have this expression so the current density is the same direction as your uh, positive charge carriers but in opposite direction of the motion for negative charge carriers so always remember that okay so anyway we are we are not kanang focusing man sa kanang uh, the negative positive or negative atong charge carrier because uh, you will find out na atong J yod is actually in the same direction as your electric field always. Okay? So, another definition of a current density other than this one is equal to this one. So, where J is equal to sigma times E. Okay? So, where sigma here is actually called the conductivity of the conductor. And this is actually the general Ohm's law. So, mawag yun yung Ohm's law nga ato ang equation nat katong uh, V is equal to IR. That is actually coming from G is, J is equal to sigma E. And as you can see that the current density is actually in the same direction as your electric field. Okay, di bang electric field ni mo? is will uh, in the same direction as your uh, current and j is also the same as the direction as your current 
Okay, meaning the flow of positive charges. So basically, hindi siya magmatter kung uh, kung negative or positive ba ito ang negative charge carrier. Okay? So anyway, the density uh, the current density is still moving in the same direction as your uh, E. Okay? So Ohm's law. So before moving to resistance, we just have to make sure nga ang Ohm's law is this equation and not the V is equal to IR na equation. But by this, using this uh, equation or using this like a relationship between current density at saka ni field, the, uh, the V is equal to IR, the, you know, the known good na Ohm's law can be derived from that equation. Okay? So, ang imuha jung Ohm's law is defined as the ratio of the current density to the electric field that is independent of the electric field producing the current. Okay? So, si sigma ni mo is constant and which also depends on the uh, material na gamit sa wire. It could be copper, nichrome, pwede po, uh, and so on. So, any types of wire na mumakuan. So, that is conductivity. Then, that is independent of the electric field producing the current. Of course, because the sigma is only depends on the material na imong used. Okay? So, so, ang materials nga nag-obey og Ohm's law, na imong J is equal to sigma E, is actually called ohmic material. So, katong, uh, when there is a direct proportionality between the current density at saka yung electric field mo, then the uh, that material is said to be ohmic. Okay? So, ang sa mga example sa ohmic ng mga material uh, resistance, mga resistor, they are ohmic. Okay? So, what else naman? So, anyway, these are called ohmic materials. So, naapi mga materials, gawa na go big ohms law. So, meaning that there is a that J is not simply equal to uh, is not simply directly proportional to E. So, daghan uh, complicated ilang relationship. But we will not discuss about this type of materials. Okay? So, anyway, the materials that do not obey Ohm's law are said to be non-ohmic. So, example of the non-ohmic are semiconductors. Okay? So, yeah, because they do not tanang, they do not uh, follow the Ohm's law na imuang current density is proportional to the electric field at some point. Okay? So, unlike sa atong resistance, a resistor nga, mo follow siya. Okay? So, na straight line. Diba? Kay naman sila proportionality nga uh, relationship. Okay? So, to find the known Ohm's law good, which is the known Ohm's law, that V is equal to IR. So, we have to consider again a straight wire with the length L and cross-sectional area A, which is uniform all throughout again in a wire. Then, we have to uh, we have to kanang, connect our ends of the wire to the uh, to the batteries or the source of the potential difference. So therefore, na anay electric field is solid. So the if the electric field is uniform inside, then the potential difference is simply equal to delta V is equal to E L. Okay, so the uh, the potential difference between V B and V A. So, the electric field is pointing in this direction, so meaning your VB is positive and your VA is negative because the current is flowing from higher to lower potential. Okay? Always remember that. So, I just, I forgot that unknown current is moving from, from higher to lower potential. Okay? So, that is also the flow of your electric field, diba? So, higher to lower potential. So, we have this relationship. Okay, we have delta V is equal to EL. Then the E here, uh, your E is actually equal to pila man ang E na to. So remember that your, your, wait, so where can we find E? Again, so many pag find. So your E is actually equal to I over sigma A. So, I over sigma A. I remember that your J is equal to I over A man di A, di ba? 
and your j is equal to sigma e. So to find e, so you just have to divide both sides by sigma. So what's left is i over sigma a. So we have this one. And we can let this kind of parenthesis, the L over sigma A as our resistance of the conductor. Okay? So thus, the resistance is equal to delta V over I, which is, of course, the known ohms law. Okay? So where the unit of the resistance is ohms, and 1 ohm is just equal to 1 volts per ampere. So where the unit of potential difference is volt, and the unit of current is ampere. Okay? So that is basically the relationship between resistance, voltage, and current in Ohm's law. But there is another way to, to find the resistance of an object using this equation. Okay? Using uh, based on the geometry or the configuration of the uh, resistor. Okay? So, if we have to let our rho to be the inverse of conductivity is the resistivity, so we have 1 over sigma is our conductivity, then we can find the uh, resistance as rho L over A. So, based on this expression, diba? Okay, 1 over sigma is a rho man, where rho is actually the resistivity of the uh, material, of course. So, <clears throat> we have this equation. So, kung given ganit ka og, og length of the wire, og area of the wire, or cross-sectional area of the wire, then that is the resistance. So, resistance is actually the uh, mo resist sa flow sa current. Siya ang mag, mag regulate sa flow sa current. Diba? So, kung lantawa na ito, ito ang equation na R is equal to rho L over A, so, there is a direct proportionality between length and resistance. So, meaning, uh, kung taas kaayo ang imuhang, taas kaayo mong wire, then therefore, taas kaayo ang resistance. Because remember, that the electron is always colliding with the other atom. So, uh, meaning, hinay kaayo ang pag-flow sa imuhang uh, charges inside. Okay? Kaya taas bang kaayo imuhang lens sa wire. So, how about, if gamay imong area, I mean, kung dako imong area. So, kung dako imong cross-sectional area, there is an inverse proportionality or relationship between the resistance at saka cross-sectional area A. So, if if mudako ang imong cross-sectional area, of course, mugamay imong resistance. Kay daghan mo ang masulod nga electron, di ba? Or charges sa usaka area. So, daghan mo kasi lag space nga move sila. Okay, so paspas na din kayo ang motion da yun. Okay? So, mauna ang, uh, that's how we, we will, uh, kanang, relationship sa imuhang uh, resistance. Okay? So, ano palang difference between resistance at saka resistivity? So, resistivity, just like conductivity, is depend on the material used. Okay, so, tanawa niyo sa table, na atay material, then atay resistivity. So, we have here silver, na po resistivity, which is constant all throughout, ha, sa material. So, mag-depend lang siya sa material, just like conductivity. So, based po sa inyong material there, sa mga resistivities niya, that the resistivity of mga metal which are good con electrical conductor is very low diba compare sa imuhang mga germanium the silicon these are uh, mga kwan siya mga semiconductor kanin glass insulator they are very large kay of course insulator man sila di man dako sila resistance ning dako sila resistivity okay so resistance naman pud is based on the geometry Meaning, based on the length of the wire, based on the cross-sectional area of the wire. So, that's how you deal with resistance. So, based sa iyahang geometry, sa imuhang resistor. Okay? So, uh, I have here an important note. So, every ohmic material has a characteristic resistivity that depends on the properties of the material. Yes. 
Okay, so depende gid sa property sa material. Or depende kung silver ba siya, copper, gold. So these materials has different electrical conductivity, electrical resistivity. Okay? And the resistance is again depends on the geometry. Meaning that depends on length or depends on area. So that is the resistance. Okay? So based on this uh, inverse of conductivity, which is resistivity, there is no such thing as ideal conductor at ideal insulator. Okay, ideal conductor, always good na na uh, Ideal conductor man good, meaning that the resistivity is zero, but the conductivity is infinite, meaning the ko kasiyag conductivity. Okay, so there's no such thing as an ideal conductor. Na agud always na resistivity. Okay, na agud siya ka ng resistance in, uh, as a, at some instance. Okay. So, an insulator po, there's no such thing as ideal insulator because some insulator or almost all of the insulator can also conduct electricity. Diba? Katong sa dielectrics, pwede mo siyang apply o dako kayong electric field, it will conduct electric uh, uh, electric current, diba? Based on the dielectric strength. So, again, there's no such thing as ideal conductor, ideal insulator, meaning ideal insulator has an infinite resistivity and a zero conductivity. Okay, so infinite meaning dako ka siya resistance. Okay? So, but there's no such thing as that. Kinagid siya uh, conductivity even though resistance siya. Pero, of course, dako gid ang resistivity compared sa conductivity. Di ba? So, yeah. So, the difference between ohmic and non-ohmic materials, so muna siya. So, as you can see, there is a proportionality between the current at saka the voltage. So, based on this a relationship which is the known ohm's law okay so here uh, ito yung mga non ohmic materials kay mo curve siya okay, wala siya uh, dili siya ka nang directly proportional gyud to to the the voltage and current but inana yung representation for non ohmic material this is the iv uh, the iv curve tinatawag na siya sa mga scientists as iv curve so this is very also important when you have a thesis about uh, about finding the IV curve of a certain material, or makita po din mo ang relationship between current and voltage, okay? So usually, mga uh, mga semiconductors are mga inaaniyahang IV curve. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, so muna siya ang ato ang uh, chika, okay? Muna ato ang baka ng some points, okay? So if you are dealing with ilan ang thesis, Okay, pero yeah, depende po lang sa advice yeah. So, another, not only the resistance depends on the length of the wire at saka cross-sectional area of the wire, it also depends on the temperature. Okay, so the resistivity and the resistance also depends on the temperature. Remember that resistivity is actually equal to is actually equal to, I mean, they are proportional, so meaning they are both, like, they are both na kanang mo, one, di ba? Both sila na mag, mag, depends sa imuhang temperature. Now, this relationship is actually coming from the fact that the, uh, temperature is, over a small temperature range lang siya. So, meaning that T minus T sub naught is actually uh, less than or equal to 100 deg degree uh, Celsius degree. Okay, so, kung inyo pa lang na ng thermodynamics, you can actually uh, find another relationship like this one sa thermal expansion, di ba? So, katong mga nanong at certain point is mo expand atong metal at hot uh, season, di ba? Because of this relationship. Okay? So, if ang imuhang temperature nga difference gani is very dako na kistanan, meaning T minus T sub not are large, so they are kanang kwan? Uh, okay. Kanang this relationship will not be true anymore. Because this is only <clears throat> The proportionality between this uh, equation is only true if your 
temperature is less than or equal to Celsius degree. So, why makita kag Celsius degree? Kay in thermodynamics man good, if natay is Celsius degree, meaning that that is the change of temperature. Okay? So, yeah. So, to know nga, imong gikuha agad kay change in temperature ang Celsius degree. So, uh, notation lang na siya. To mean nga, uh, temperature change imong gikuha. Okay? So, the sigma naught here is actually the the temperature, I mean the uh, the initial resistivity of the object. Tapos, imong alpha is actually the temperature coefficient. Which is again, constant for each material. So, for silver, na akay 3.8 times 10 to the negative 3, uh, 6 Celsius degree raised to negative 1. And so on. So you can follow this one. So the uh, the the resistivity here will increase with temperature, diba? So depending na lang sa change in temperature. Same also with resistance. This will increase with temperature. So kung magkadako ang imong temperature, magkahat ang imong temperature, magkadako po diyan resistance. Okay, so mo nang makita ninyo kang kanang muhikap mo og wire, Okay, mo init. That means nga it's either nga ni increase ang temperature causing a great resistance. Okay? So, yeah. That's the uh, definition or the relationship between resistance and temperature. So, basically, uh, yung resistance natin is only depends on the length, the area of the wire, at saka the temperature. Okay? And also for the resistivity. Okay, magdepende gabon siya sa resistivity. So, we have to uh, answer this example. So, calculate the resistance per unit length of a 22 gauge. So, do not uh, just neglect the gauge here because these are technical terms lang which represents the diameter of the wire. Okay? Nichrome wire which is a radius of 0 0.321 millimeter. So, what is the current in the wire? if a potential difference of 10 volt is maintained across a 1 meter length of wire. So first, we have to find the resistance per unit length. So the resistance per unit length, I will just put it here. Oh yeah. So the resistance per unit length, so remember that R is equal to rho L over A. So, divide both sides by L para makuha resistance per unit length, which is equal to rho over A. So, we know that the uh, our wire is uh, made of nichrome. So, we have to refer to the table to find the resistivity of the nichrome, which is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So, we have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so divided by the cross-sectional area, so the cross-sectional area is wala gigiven, pero gigiven tag radius, so which is equal to 0 0.321 millimeter. Okay, so we just have to convert 0 0.321 millimeter to meter. Okay, so 1000 millimeter is equal to 1 meter, so cancel this out. So we have here, uh, so that is equal to 0 0.321 times 10 to the negative 3 or equal to 3.21 times 10 to the negative 4 meter. So this is the radius. But the cross-sectional area is like a circle, diba? the area of a circle. So we have pi r squared. So, given by, given naman tag R, so we just have to put this pi, multiply with the radius in meter, so we have this one, it's squared. So, then we have to find the uh, radius per unit length, so 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6, divided by pi, divided by 3.21, times 10 to the negative 4 square. So that is equal to 4.63. Okay? 
So that is equal to 4.63 ohms per meter. Okay, so that is that is the uh, cut resistance per unit length. But how about the current? If a potential difference is 10 volts and maintained across a 1 meter length of wire. So you just have to use the Ohm's law that R is equal to delta V over I. So the potential difference is given by 10 volts. So we have here 10 volts divided by I. But we have here the resistance per unit length. So we just have to get the uh, resistance given that the length of wire is 1 meter. So I will just have to put this one. So we have R over L is equal to 4.63 ohms per meter. So R divided by 1 meter is just equal to resistance of 4.63 ohms. Then the find the current. So I is just equal to delta V over R. So the delta V is 10 volts and the, rad uh, the radius, the resistance is 4.63 ohms. So that is equivalent to 2.16, amperes. Okay, so yeah, that's the, uh, our example. So we are done with resistance. So let's just move on to uh, electromotive force or what they call as the potential. Okay. So electromotive force is like a pump. Okay. Di ba mura siya o pump sa ato ang boarding house. Okay. So kanabi tong sa babaw sa building makita mo nga na ay na ay something like uh, kanang uh, kanang uh, sa ni tanke okay, so how can we how can the uh, water will flow to pataas okay so sa ato ang fluid dynamics so that is like moving the water from uh, lower pressure to higher pressure okay so ano bitaw nga concept because uh, the concept mang good is we uh in nature, the koan gyud the the water or the air will flow from lower to high, a higher pressure to lower pressure. Okay, to maintain a like a constant pressure. Okay, so just like wood sa kanang heat, tiba ng ano mang ang ice mo melts atong hand. Tud na nung dilit man siya mo stay as ice because of the fact that the heat will flow from higher temperature to lower temperature. So basically, si ice ni mo is the one that has a lower temperature. So the, envir the surrounding environment has a greater temperature compared ni ice. So, so, wait. So, ang imuhang paandari, guys, uh, yeah, moto ang kwan. So, diba, na kay ice. So, the heat will flow from lower to a higher temperature to lower temperature. That is why your ice will melt to maintain a thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay? So, mo na siya ang actually nga ka ng actually nga ka ng concept. Okay? Muna ang concept sa ato ang uh, electromotive force. So, uh, electromotive force is like a pump nga mo, mo, kuan, mo, mo push sa ato ang uh, charges sa, sa terminals. Okay? So, electromotive force or EMF is denoted by epsilon so, it makes current flow from lower to higher potential because the current by nature is 
um, flow siya from higher to lower potential, di ba? So, that is by nature man. Okay, so actually, this is very kanang ambiguous term nga force because electromotive force is not a force, but uh, that is actually the energy per unit charge. Okay, so that is the volt. Now, volt siya no. Okay, so, yeah, that's a unit of your EMF, but we will, again, even though dili siya lindot na term, but we will just, you know, continue to use this one because... Ato naman siya. Basta we, do, we know that the definition of electromotive force is like the potential difference. Okay? So the SI unit of EMF is volt. Capital letter V. So that is the same as potential. Okay? So the ideal source of EMF. So namagutay yung tawag na ideal at saka real source of EMF. So katong ideal source of EMF, mauto ang mga... Uh, like a battery is a source of EMF na walay internal resistance. Ang mga real source, kaya na siya internal resistance sa sulog. Okay? So, uh, what is the, kuan man, what is the the uh, mechanism of the ideal source? Okay? So, I think this is the, I will just draw this one. So, inside kasi sa atong, ato ang battery. So, post na atay inside sa battery. So, we can represent the rectangle as the inside of the battery. Ah, okay. So, this is the terminal A. And this is the terminal B. So, we can let the terminal A as the higher potential. And the terminal B as our lower potential. So, since we are sticking with our conventional current na positive, I will just positive here. So, the charges inside the battery will, uh, diba, will make the, uh, will parang flow out to charges, diba, because of this battery. Now, to flow put ang muhang charges inside is you need to something like a pump para mo flow siya from lower to higher. Okay? So, this is the negative one ay the positive charges because we have to stick with again conventional. So, na ay two forces na nag-exist on the charge. So, we have the electrostatic which is of course attracted siya by nature and we also have the non-electrostatic which is the pump. Okay? The pump na add to sa iyahang uh, higher potential okay so because this this is not the uh, how nature works because we need a pump para mukuan siya diba so yeah i think that's it so here so here the electric field is of course going in that direction because uh, the electric field by nature will a flow from higher to lower potential then mo attract mong gap ni mong positive to negative diba so yeah so basically how can we get the electromotive force so the potential difference between a with respect to b is actually equal to the electromotive force okay so how can we get this relationship no naman ang terminal Actually, kanang VAB is a terminal voltage. Okay, kanang A would be terminal voltage. And your E is actually the electromotive force, meaning inside bus sa imang battery. Okay? So, how can we get the this relationship? Okay, so, always remember na yung muhang uh, nakay duha ka forces. Diba? So, if you have to uh, kanang take note of the definition sa work, katung sa ato ang electric potential so we have the work done by the electric force and the work done by the normal force so we know that the work done is actually equal to the a negative change of your potential but or the change of your potential or simply potential so the potential for un is ilang muna siya so, diba potential and then the potential respect the potential energy with respect to potential is actually equal to uh, V. 
So this is the electrostatic, di ba? Electrostatic is coming from the uh, potential difference between the two kanang two terminals. So we have here, okay, let me show you. So that is Q, which is the magnitude of the charge inside the battery. Okay. So the electrostatic force is multiplied with the VAB. Okay. So that is the, uh, we know because U, a VAB is equal to elect energy per unit charge. Okay. So that is the terminal between uh, A and B for ideal source. Now the work done naman put by your normal force is actually equal to potential energy again but this time Q multiplied with E. Okay, the electromotive force inside the battery. Okay, that's the one that is pushing the electron pasaka. I mean the, uh, the positive charges pasaka to higher potential. Then uh, in an ideal source mang good, the work done by the electrostatic force is actually equal to the work done by the uh, non-electrostatic force, okay, the Fn. Now, how can we do that is it's like lifting a book or maglift kag object na na constant speed. Okay, so kung nakabukuan mo sa inyo hang a mechanics that the total work done is actually equal to the change of your kinetic energy, di ba? So, basically, uh, the change in kinetic energy is zero because a constant speed naman siya. Pero mag-move gyan siya pa dulong sa higher potential. Okay, by making this relationship, so we have to cancel Q, then therefore, according to the ideal source, the terminal voltage is just equal to the electromotive force. Okay, if we have an ideal, source of EMF. But if naatay non-ideal, okay, if, if naatay non-ideal, what will happen is uh, there is now an internal resistance. So this internal resistance will make the capacity of the battery na mugamay because of the internal resistance. So kanimang good sa ideal source, ang pasabot ng ana is ang imuha ding battery whatever na, na nabutang dito sa katong, for example, di ba sa battery, can I, uh, na rating 1.5 volts. So, meaning that ang imuhada yung battery will really uh, deliver a voltage of 1.5 volts if you have an ideal source. But, if na kay idea, if na kay real na source of EMF, what will happen is there is a uh, decrease of the capacity of the a battery to one because of the internal nakuha naman ang iyang uh, other energy or other kanang voltage from the internal resistance so that is why the terminal voltage is just equal to the electromotive force minus the voltage drop across the internal resistance so assuming that your internal resistance follows ohm's law so yung voltage drop is equal to i times r where the r small letter r is internal resistance okay so here uh, this means that the thermal voltage is less than the e electromotive force so ang thermal voltage is not really always constant so unlike some electromotive force it is like a uh, constant nagid siya sa ato ang sa ato ang battery so may naanag siya sa battery na constant okay pero uh, ang ato mong real source is na siya ka ng aning na uh, so this is the battery with a resistance and this is like the positive and negative so kung mag-flow ang imuhang uh, kung mag-exist ang I mean kung maghatag o current ang imuhang charges ay imuhang battery so mag-agi sa siya sa internal resistance so makuaan na siya makuaan na iyang capacity iyang uh, full capacity ng internal resistance because na na may voltage drop across this uh, this in this internal resistance so making it the terminal voltage is less than the e so katong terminal voltage is katong mapagawas niya nga na current uh, na voltage capacity niya okay, voltage rating okay so the 
yeah so that is why the the voltage here the thermal vo voltage is less than the electromotive force okay so if not internal resistance so this means lang di ay ngang imuhang kaning kuan ang imuhang VAB or the QVAB the work done by the electrostatic force is less than the work done by the non-electrostatic force okay pasabot na ani so this means that the kung inana siya okay, I think ano siya so di ba kay QVAB is negative so we have QE mang good which is positive that is the work done minus QVAB so please ka nang kuha lang sa work ha kaya ito mo siyang i-move pa ana displacement is going there so one ang positive ang imuhang non-electrostatic force and negative ang imuhang electrostatic force which is equal to the change of your kinetic energy so that is the total work this is the total work so if your QE is equal to QAB therefore this is, the, this is zero but when your QE is greater than QVB so what will happen? So, kay kung Q, E, Q, V, A, B, meaning constant speed siya, nag-move ang imuhang charges inside at constant speed. But, when Q, E, does this mean nag-speed up ang imuhang charge? Okay, since this is the change of your kinetic energy, when Q, E is... Okay, so anyway, so that's only a, a wondering question, okay? So, when can a battery with terminal voltage of 5 volts equal to an EMF of 5 volts? So, if, of course, di wala siya internal resistance, okay? O, of course, di li siya i-connect sa imuhang any wire. Okay, once you connect ng guni mo siya, so there's now a current exists, di ba? If you connect me mo siya, kay imong internal resistance, makuha lang siya o voltage sa imong EMF if na siya current nga na pass through. So, para na ay pass through na, ay para ma pass through imong current, so dapat i-connect siya, i-connect sa siya ni mo o a wire, di ba? So, we can attain a terminal voltage equal to EMF if there is no uh, load connected to the circuit or to the battery so therefore in conclusion for a real source of emf the terminal voltage equals the emf only if current is flowing through the source okay, if well, like current is flowing through the source meaning this it connects up as a battery okay ano lang ato ang sistema karoon Okay, so you already know what are the symbols for the resistor, the symbol for the battery, and the symbol lang for the koan, the uh, battery ng internal resistance is this one. Okay, so na a small resistor here. Yeah, so anyway, so that's the electromotive force. So it's like a pump that will push the positive charges to its higher potential which will of course we need to do work okay so the last topic for today is all about uh, electrical power so power is just like some mechanics is work per second so meaning joules per second diba from power so this one in in electromagnetism power is defined as the rate at which energy is either delivered or the extract from a circuit element okay so usually a deliver of power or the energy is actually the the source diba? ang, ang extract na tog energy is i deliver 
power extracted from a circuit element. So anyway, that is power delivered or power dissipated okay, in a certain circuit. Okay, it is usually denoted by capital letter P and it has an expression equal to VAB times I. So VAB is a terminal voltage and the I here is actually the current that passes through a certain circuit element. Okay. So the SI unit of power is what? So we already knew that one in our mechanics. That is equal to 1 joules per second. And the power input to our resistor. So based on our on here, on our power na VAB is equal to I. So we have this one. So the we know that the according to Ohm's law, the resistor has a voltage or terminal voltage of IR so we can rewrite our power input to resistor as this one so meaning that power input in power delivered to the resistor okay so okay so you already know this one that the potential is always higher than the I mean the current will flow from higher to lower potential Okay, so as you can see, if atong circuit element is a resistor, of course, the current is, will flow from the higher potential to the lower potential. So basically, more na ang ato ang definition sa power. So there are two types of power. So it could be power output of a source or it could be power input to a source. So we already know the power input to a to a resistor. So how about for a source? So, output of a source meaning that ang gihatak ni a source of EMF. Okay? So, suppose I have here, uh, ano here, a battery with internal resistance. So, kung wa siya internal resistance, so basically the power is just equal to VABI. But, kung wa siya internal resistance, and therefore, imong VAB is equal to the electromotive force, di ba? EI. Yeah, kay since naman siya internal resistance so dapat na itig kuha og energy sa iya ha okay before moving to the external circuit so the external circuit is basically a composed of katong mga resistor capacitor or any type of uh, any other circuit element that nag exist sa imong circuit so this is the source of emf it could be battery or anything so we have the non electrostatic force and we have the electrostatic force so, the power output of a source is equal to EI minus I squared R. So, this is actually the, the power dissipated or power na nga deliver or na input, power input sa imuhang resistor. Okay, or sa the internal resistor, the resistance of the battery. So, based on this expression nun siya. Okay, and we have to assume again that the internal resistance follows on the slope. Okay, so ang imong first term is actually katung work or the energy na gidelivered yud mismo ni, uh, ni battery. But since na amang internal resistance, so dapat menusan niya siya always uh, ni internal resistance. So itong na dissipate ni electrical energy. It could be, uh, mahi mo siyang heat. Mo nang mo kwa ni mong battery, I think, mo in it. Or it could be anything, okay? So, yeah. If power input naman to a source, kay namang good tayo ginatawag na rechargeable battery, di ba? So, we have to recharge our battery by connecting it to another source of EMF. So, usually, ang EMF is we have the alternator or pwede po sa kana ito ang outlet. So, this is like a, a power input. Now, the power input to a source is bali. So, supposed nga na kay... Uh, Ah, sorry. So, we have here EI plus I squared R. So, assuming that the battery has an internal resistance. Okay? So, internal resistance R. So, what will happen is the first term is ang katujung conversion of electrical energy to non-electrical energy. So, it could be the non-electrical energy could be chemical energy para ma recharge atong battery. Okay, so it could be potential or any uh, any mechanism. So, kung unsay mechanism na pagpa, pagpasorg energy dili sa ato ang battery. Okay? And the second term naman is actually the rate 
of dissipation of energy in the internal resistance of the upper source. So, ang upper source na to is this one, I think. Okay, so, I think that's the, that's the uh, interpretation of the power input to a source. So, we have here A, negative B. So, we have here an alternator, meaning that the mechanism of alternator is like, he push niya ang positive charges ng ato sa positive. So, he push na niya. So, money ang power na delivered para imong electrical energy becomes a non-electrical energy here. Then, the second is the rate of dissipation of energy. So meaning that mag-dissipate po dang yung energy inside the alternator, assuming that the alternator has something like uh, resistance. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it. So let's now have an example. So a battery has an EMF of 12 volts and internal resistance of 0 0.05 ohms. Its terminals are connected to a load resistance of 3 ohms. Find the current in the circuit and the terminal voltage of the battery. So find first the so So you are given with the internal resistance, 0 0.05 ohms, the EMF as 12 volts, and the load resistance or the R as 3 ohms. So first we have to find the current. So we just have to use directly this one, I is equal to E over R plus R. Okay, so we have the E as 12 volts and the total resistance with the internal resistance as 3.05 ohms and that is equal to 3.93 years. The next one is you have to find the terminal voltage. So basically, our terminal voltage is just equal to I times R, meaning the current which is equal to 3.93 amperes and then we have to find the resistance so 3.93 times the resistance so that is 11.79 resistance 3 ohm that is 11.79 volts or you can use VAB is equal to uh, E minus IR. So you can use this one or this one. Doesn't matter. Okay, so they are just the same. So how about the power delivered to the load resistor, the power delivered to the internal resistance, and the power delivered by the battery? So some power delivered to the resistor. So basically, uh, use lang ini mo siyang uh, P is equal to I squared R so the current across the resistor is 3.93 ampere squared then the R here is 3 ohms so that is equivalent to 46.3 watts how about the power delivered or dissipated by the internal resistance of the battery so same lang gihapon same equation so we have 3.93 amperes square and 3 ohms by 0 0.05 ohms so the power delivered by the internal resistor actually equal to 0 0.772 watts okay <clears throat> How about ang power delivered by the battery? So, 
power delivered by the battery is So, the um, power delivered by the battery is basically a more than basically ke muharang e e multiply which is E times I, katung wala pa siya internal resistance, baka to yung power delivered lang the battery. Okay? So, we have here E, which is 12 volts, then multiply by the 3.93 ampere. So, that is equal to, ilam na siya, 12 times 3.93, that is 47.2 watts. Okay, so basically, mo na iyahang i-deliver dapat. Pero ang ma mahatag na niya ni resistor na 3 ohms is actually 46.3. Okay, kuwaan man ni, ni internal resistance. Okay? So kung dili ko internal resistance, then probably ang power delivered by the battery to the resistor are equal. Okay? So guys says, also take note that uh, this is very important kasi uh, this is very important na mabutang jug ka o resistance across the uh, our circuit. Kasi kung wala mong good ni siya, what will happen, it will lead to what we call as the short circuit. Okay, kung meaning that i-connect na to ato ang battery to an external circuit na walay resistance. So, for example, if you have to find the current na ma-produce ana kung walay inter a resistance, so we just have E divided by R. The internal kasi zero ito kasi, ba? So yung E natin is twelve, and yung our internal resistance is zero point zero five. So what will happen? It will lead to a very large current. So, ang 240 amperes is a very large current. So, that is very dangerous. Kasi even 10 amperes na ang, ang kwan gani ang ginaalaw sa ato sa ato ang electrical appliances. ba? So, how much kung 240 amperes? So, how much uh, an awa ang energy? Even though gamay ra ang EMF na 12 volts, na gamay ang internal resistance, it will if you are very dangerous to have a short circuit. So, pwede masunog, mabuto, or so on, and it can cause fire. Okay, so, always remember this one. Dapat yun na resistance is na i-connect ni mo siya sa na resistance Okay? Anyway, so, next is we have to rank the following circuits in order from highest to lowest current. So we have here a, a 1.4 ohm resistor connected to a 1.5 volt battery that has an internal resistance of 0 0.10 ohm. Ay mo lang dito on. Ay mo lang siyang dito so on. So this is your A, di ba? Dito na yung mag E over R plus R. So, ang imuhang EMF is 1.5 volts. So, sa pato? Ang imuhang uh, internal resistance is 0 0.10. Tapos ang imuhang resistor, the external circuit is 1.4 ohms. So we have uh, 0 0.10. So that is equal to 1 ampere. Okay, so yung current is 1 ampere. But how about letter B? So we have to rank half from highest to lowest. So letter B is 1.8 ohm resistor connected to a 4 volt battery that has a terminal voltage of 3.6 volt but an unknown internal resistance. So even though naka unknown internal resistance but you are given man with the terminal voltage. So basically, you just have to use VAB is equal to I 
times TR, the voltage across the resistor, the 1.8 ohm resistor. So you are given, uh, so we have to find the current, so I is equal to VAB divided by R. So the terminal voltage is 3.6 volts and the resistor is, has an resistance of 1.8 ohms. So that is equal to 2 amperes. So letter C is an unknown resistor connected to a 12 volt battery that has an internal resistance of 0 0.20 ohms and a terminal voltage of 11 volts. So basically use, use this equation because you are given man with the terminal voltage given with E and given with the internal resistance so you can find I to be equal to E minus VAB divided by R. So, using all of the equations there, so we have 12 minus 11, the terminal, 0 0.20, so that is equal to 5 amperes. So, basically, uh, C, situation C is greater than, situation B is greater than uh, situation A. So, yung rank from highest to lowest. So, yeah, I think that's the... Uh, last na definition ay uh, last na explanation about current resistance and electromotive force so if you have any question just message me in VLE or personally na may mga questions at hindi pang discuss ka rin our next topic by the way is we have to apply what we have learned in circuits na yun like uh, Kirchhoff's law at saka reduction technique. Okay, so that's our next uh, slides. Okay, so for now, bye class.